uh, August 3, 2000. I'm going to be paying um, with um, at least four major phases in the, uh, of the renovation in the house. And this was first located in feature 617, as we were excavating the burial pit. We could see A, B, C, D e phases, of which A is directly on the uh, midden that we assume is underneath the house. And then um, B is another um, phase of floors, and set of floors that are about five centimeters higher. And between A and B, we have a layer of, uh, as I said, floors and packing of the, those floors. And then between B and C, there's a thick, or 10 or 12 centimeter thick layer of packing. Uh, and on top of C, we have another, another layer of packing, which is about five centimeters thick. Uh, which can uh, consist of a lot of burn remains of uh, fragmented burnt clay, uh, such as um, hard uh, floors and so forth. So these are the four um, major phases that were spotted in here, each of which has many multiple floor layers. After uh, these phases were located is in feature 617, we uh, could locate them in feature 602, which is a post retrieval pit, in which again we are dealing with A, B and C levels. D level can be seen only from the opposite side of the uh, post retrieval pit of feature 602, because here we are higher up on platform 173 and therefore we still have a de-horizon. On the platform feature 162, we still have the what we believe was the latest horizon of use in this house, which is a number, uh, I mean letter E, which is preserved only uh, in places where we have a, a control profile, such as in this case on top of the platform. The next place where the phases could be observed were actually in the central floor, feature 606 of uh, building 3, where we still have the floor level which we believe is C phase, and then the remains of fire installations or cuts that were made for the fire installations that show that there is a, a B layer underneath, and then we know from the features already mentioned that there is an A horizon, horizon as well, which presumably we will get to once we start excavating in the central area, floor area. The next feature where we could observe the phases is um, the, po the small post retrieval kit, which is next to the southern end of the screen wall and is in the platform corner of the platform uh, 169, feature 169 and uh, the internal wall in the house, feature 161. Uh, this is a small post retrieval kit, but it's a very, um, very prominent, it has very prominent features and we can see here uh, also all, all the mentioned phases. They're not very easy, they weren't very easy to isolate here, especially because on one end in this area, which is towards the east, uh, the, the faces, I mean the floors are squashed. But we still have A, B, C horizon, which is very far um, from B, and just in, as in case of the burial pit, uh, here the floors and the packings between B and C are at least 10, if not 15 centimeters thick. And on top of that there is D, which in this case it was removed largely on this platform and in, in the Neolithic as well as in our excavation in the previous years because this was heavily used platform and uh, had a lot of cuts made in order to made up the platform so the floors weren't easy to spot and follow and also they were damaged but we can see in the section in the internal wall at the bottom of the wall where it meets with the platform that we have a nice orange packing which makes uh, the packing for the D 
uh, phase of floors which then went up and have been removed, as I said. Uh, in the north, northern face of uh, the posterior pit, feature 114, uh, I think, we can also see the same floor fa phases, A, B, C, D. Uh, D is the top one, the one in which we stopped excavated, excavating the floor in the central area right around the platform. Um, another uh, thing that's really apparent in this case is how the floors are very horizontal uh, because this um, face of, of the pit shows the floors in the central area of the building, building just in front of the screen wall. So they go through the house floors, not through the platform floors as we have had in these other cases where I um, show the phases. And because um, these floors are very uh, horizontal and nice, we have um, also the faces show that, whereas in the case of the platform, they're deformed and uh, of different thicknesses and so forth. So the phasing, we can see here see how the phasing of the central floor and uh, the platforms correspond, and yet the floors are totally different thickness and especially the packing between them. So the um, step between the kitchen area of the house and uh, the, the central area of the house was actually spotted in the phase D as the little tag on top of it shows. And I'm not sure if we could spot it, spot it in the phase that was on top of it, which would be a phase E. I think we did not spot it, and we only spotted it when we came to phase D and saw how white and different from everything else around it was. So that would mean that the floor underneath this fire installation that we have in the central area or central kitchen area is also deep and that fire installation uh, and the floor behind it in between it, it and the uh, house uh, south wall uh, it belongs to either uh, phase D or maybe even phase E. I would tend to think that it belongs to phase D rather than E. And then turning towards uh, the southeast corner of the house, we, s we see that we have already arrived on the phase C floor. And the same happens with uh, feature 170, a large platform in the uh, central east part of the house where uh, we have excavated the floors down to the sea level, sea phase, basically. And now we are trying to connect all the features of the sea phase in the house since uh, we have already removed many of the features of the B phase uh, and we have to stop now on the C phase and, and um, um, record it. Um, something that became apparent and uh, started complicating the issue of the phasing in the building is uh, this situation that we have in uh, the post-retrieval fit feature, uh, pit feature 114 um, is that we can see the floors going from the floors going um, where is it the floors going underneath the internal wall. So the floors are continuing towards the western part of the house, towards the space 158, and underneath the internal wall, what seems to be the ending, the bottom of the internal wall here, which ended, landed basically on top of the D or E phase uh, of this platform feature 169. So the original idea was that the the wall, the internal wall, was starting from B or E and going up. Now we see that the actual original wall is sitting on top of the uh, earlier phases, floor phases of the house. So that becomes an issue. Is the internal wall uh, part of the last phase 
floor phase in the house or was it renovated so completely that in prehistory before phase D, in phase D actually it was cut down to this level to which uh, where it was from which it was built up back up again to uh, to um, probably to the top to the ceiling of the house. Another thing that be became uh, more clear is that the pillar, southern so-called pillar of the screen wall, with, which is feature 164, seemed to be sitting on top of the either C or D floor and seemed to be uh, in the place where we had a post hole between the pillar and the internal wall we see that the post hole was sitting on a rubble that uh, seems to me belongs to either a C or even earlier C or D phase of the house. So we have to rethink the whole screen wall and internal wall scenario and see whether they fit the scenario uh, in which they are actually parts of the late um, organization of space and development in the house. At the south part of Space 150A uh, is also becoming uh, very complicated and problematic because when uh, we removed the, what we consider to be late floors and packing under those floors, uh, at the level at which we had the niche in the house, at, at the level at which, at which we thought the house was being, this space was being used only uh, because of the niche, everything else, else was uh, shut off except for the northern, um, very northern corner of the house, which um, also had a storage. So when uh, we started removing these floors, which we considered the late floors, we saw that there is something like a cut in the middle of this space and this cut could even be a post, uh, another post retrieval pit and which we will see. We also see that there is a fire installation which is very heavily burned which was in the corner, southwest corner of the building which is a highly unusual place for it because it's in the very corner of the building unless it belongs to the face of the house when the internal wall did not exist here where we have it now. Um, then uh, another problem is that when we look close to the internal wall on this side from the space 158, we can see that there are uh, layers still, uh, uh, the, the floor layers right on the wall, not removed, that show that there was this orange packing of floor level and then there was a grey compact uh, packing on top of which is a grey, more porous packing and on top of which is an orange uh, packing of floor level. So there is more, there are more levels and packings than we thought there are, which all end um, in between, which all go in between the feature to 628, which is the, the remains of the shoring of the wall and the internal wall. Uh, but what complicates the things is that there is a white feature on the floor, white basin-like feature on the floor of this space, right here in the central southern part uh, of the space, which is actually sitting on top of all of these floors that I have been listing now meaning that something that I thought belonged to the shoring and belonged to the earlier phase and was below the latest floor which uh, was built because of the niche, uh, it turns out that this white feature might have been uh, actually uh, earlier than that and might have been still in use when the um, niche was in use. However, this needs a little bit more of um, thinking and looking at before the final scenario is de de designed for it.